Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Samsung's flagship, the Galaxy S21 is on course to make its debut on 14th of January 2021. But we already know quite a lot about the device given all the leaks and regulatory listings. Welcome to a special coverage video of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S21 launch. We have all the details that you need to know so let's find out. First up let's talk about the processor. An FCC listing has confirmed that those in North America can expect the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset in the upcoming flagship series. There is a caveat here though as only one of the upcoming Galaxy S21 devices was listed on the FCC regulatory site. Model number SMG991U is the only model that has so far passed through the US regulatory agency, but this is a good indication for the other S21 series devices. According to this listing, this device which we believe is the base model Galaxy S21 is set to come packing the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. During the Qualcomm announcement, Samsung was a notable absentee from the upcoming device list for this new processor. Part number SM8350 is listed in the FCC filing though, which puts to bed any rumors of a fully global Exynos-powered Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Other important data we can glean from this listing is the inclusion of millimeter wave 5G connectivity, Wi-Fi 6, and the standard NFC support 2 for wireless payment systems. Although the Galaxy S21 coming with a Snapdragon 888 is good news for US and North American fans, we're still expecting global regions to get the Exynos 2100 chipset. Further regulatory listings in Brazil hint that the Samsung Galaxy S21 is to drop the charge brick from the inbox included accessories with this release. The rest of the specifications have already been detailed, like featuring a 25 watts wired charging support, 8 GB RAM and a flat 6.3 screen with 120 Hz refresh rate. The phone listing also mentions 9 watts reverse wireless charging doubling the rate of the Galaxy S20 rates. The whole equipment, certified by the FCC, included some information about a charger. The EPTA 800 adapter was also approved by the US regulatory. However, we don't know whether it will actually ship in the retail box for the US market or not. We know Apple is already doing it, and by the looks of it, Samsung is ready to follow suit. The biggest news though undoubtedly is getting confirmation of the Snapdragon 888 which will be music to many potential Galaxy S21 series buyers' ears. This is because the 888 is a pure beast going by the features Qualcomm showed off in its recent release. To see that video, simply click on the pop-out banner on the top right-hand corner of your screen. India pricing revealed and what that means for global markets. An unnamed Samsung insider spoke to Indian publication Tech revealing some spicy details about the upcoming Galaxy S21 series. The prices of the trio won't change compared to this year's Galaxy S20 series pricing. That would mean 67,000 Indian rupees for the Galaxy S20, 74,000 Indian rupees for the S20 Plus and the Ultra will ask 93,000 Indian rupees. If that carries over to the other major markets, we should see prices of $900 or €900, Euros, $999 or €999 Euros, and $1,399 or €1,399 Euros, respectively in the US and Europe. Moreover, the rumor reveals the launch in India will be at least a week after the Global One, scheduled for January 14th. The units will then hit store shelves on January 29th. The company will hold a dedicated event at the Bangalore's Opera House store to mark the arrival of its new flagships in the country. In fact, the store itself has started taking blind pre-orders for the Galaxy S21 series from the eager Samsung fans. You need to pay 2,000 Indian rupees, $27, in advance to make sure you will be among the first to be able to purchase the phones in India. Samsung is allegedly planning to invite some of those who pre-order to the launch event and give them their units on the very day of the Indian launch. Key features coming in S21. Samsung is going to introduce the Galaxy S21 smartphones with a new fingerprint scanner, leaks to Ice Universe claims. The enter display sensor was initially introduced with the Galaxy S10, and then made its way to the Galaxy S20, but now it will be much faster and significantly bigger. The sensor under the OLED panel will be square, 8mm sides, making it 64 square millimeters. For comparison, 
The previous two flagships had 4x9M sensors, which is 36 square millimeters, a mighty 77% increase. When Samsung first introduced the UD solution back in February 2019, it was plagued with issues. It was only working with select screen protectors and was also allowing non-registered fingers to unlock the device. The situation was so bad, Samsung had to issue a fix just days after the market launch. Hopefully, this situation won't repeat and will have a bigger and faster sensor. The leakster claims it will need just a quick tap instead of an actual long press, having the unlocking speed, which would be a massive improvement for everyday usability. The war on bezels also continues as new leaks show off the phone's very slim bezels all around on the completely flat display. A video posted to YouTube depicts what appears to be the mid-tier Galaxy S21 Plus model, revealing quite a few details about the phone that we didn't previously know. We can get a really good look at the entire display in this video. We can see the Galaxy S21's very slim bezels around the entire display, including the bottom which has traditionally had a slightly thicker bezel compared to the top and sides. It seems Samsung has finally fixed that on the S21 series, and equally impressively, that's accomplished with a display panel that's underneath completely flat glass. While we know the high-end S21 Ultra will have a curved panel, it's truly awesome to see Samsung ditch that curve on the two mainstream models. Beyond that, we also get a look at the back of the phone which has a matte texture. It's a bit hard to see if that's plastic or glass, and while it looks like the former, notorious Samsung Leaker Ice Universe claims that it's glass. For those interested, the video also dives into benchmarks through Geekbench 5 which results in a single-core score of 1,115 and a multi-core score of 3,326. That's a pretty huge jump from the Galaxy S20 Plus's scores of 830 and 3,087. It's also not that far behind the iPhone 12 Pro in its 1,585 and 3,924 scores. But also, these are just benchmark scores and they don't actually matter. Finally, let's talk about the storage and color options coming to each of the three new S21 models. The folks over at windfuture.de are reporting that some German retailers are already receiving details about the upcoming flagship Galaxy S phones, including their storage capacities and color options. The smallest of the bunch, the S21 comes in 128GB and 256GB trims both of which will sport grey, white, pink and purple paint jobs. The S21 Plus also comes in 128GB and 256GB storage options and will be available in just three colors silver, black and purple. The Galaxy S21 Ultra on the other hand will get 128GB, 256GB and 512GB options only in silver and black. We also get another confirmation that the top model in the S21 series will indeed support an optional S Pen stylus which will not be housed inside the phone like on the Galaxy Note series but will rather be stored in special clear view and silicone cover cases. The cases will be bundled with the S Pen. That's it folks. In a month from now we would have the flagship S21 released. What do you think about it? Are you planning to buy one? Let us know in the comments below. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.